my name is Kathleen Heslin. Um, my dog's name is Chandler Bing. He goes by Bing. Um, I live in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Bing is uh, from New Jersey, so we call him our Jersey boy. Um, we went and uh, adopted him uh, about two years ago. He has a sister uh, named Phoebe, and they are fast friends. Uh, Bing is actually getting neutered today. Um, it's been uh, recommended to me. Um, he, French Bulldogs have wonderful personalities. He is the best dog, but even at the age of two, he still loves to mark his territory. And so I've had some guidance from the veterinarian saying that to have him neutered might actually help the situation. Bing came in today for a neuter. He's two years old, and um, when we admitted him, what we do is we give him a sedation to make him a little sleepy, and then we can place an intravenous catheter, which we can then place the anesthesia, which makes him completely sleepy. And we shave up the incision area, prep it, we call it, which is uh, surgically scrubbing it, getting it prepared sterilely for the doctor to make his incision. Okay, so I'm gonna put a catheter in, whatever front leg you want me to do. Dude, I'm snoring. I'm just gonna clean up the area. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it's okay, bud. What a brave man. Good job. Very brave. Keep it a couple times, make sure it's been secured. I can feel the flush going in, so we're good. Okay. Be on your side, buddy. Will you let us do this? Okay. shave up the surgical area. Uh, Bing was extremely easy to work with. Um, usually, especially for his breed, bulldogs can be kind of crazy and rambunctious, so he was actually a really sweet boy and um, let us do anything to him successfully, so he was a good patient today. All right, so I'm just gonna place the trach tube. So when you neuter a, a dog, a lot of people, uh, especially uh, the guys, the, the male owners, they, they cringe a little bit. Pete, that's a big common misconception. If I neuter my dog, is he going to act like a girl? Or is he going to act less macho? Or, and that's not, that's not true, okay? Uh, it, it helps with behavioral issues if they're marking around the house, um, but sometimes that it might not work because if that behavior has been going on for a while, uh, that can be an issue. Uh, but uh, it, it basically is good for them because they can't get cancer in them, right? So it basically, uh, it eliminates that factor. Um, another one is basically prostate hyperplasia, right? Uh, the prostates, when they, when they get older, with the testosterone, it actually allows the prostate to get a little larger, can cause problems defecating, and can cause problems with urination. Most uh, dog bites are from intact males, right? So um, it can... Um, it can decrease aggression. They're less likely to get hit by cars looking for a girlfriend. Um, you know, I, I feel that it's it's more of a us being concerned versus the dog. The dog doesn't know any better, and uh, it's it's not that big of a deal. Now I just organize my tray and all my instruments. Okay, it's going over the patient. I palpate the testicles so I kind of know where to cut. Go as far up as I can, the pre-scrotal region. Nice. 
gasoline it. Make an incision. Right over the testicle. Just enough. We can cut through the, the vaginal tunic. And I can squeeze it out. So I need to cut just a little bit more. And there we go. Extruded, extruded the testicle. OK. And as you can see in here, we have our vessels, and we have our vas deferens, and our spermatic cord. OK. And this little membrane here, if it's thick and it's not ripping, you can actually give it a little nick with your curved medicine bombs to loosen it up. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, it's called the three clamp technique. I use three clamps, proximal, middle, and distal. Proximal, meaning closest to the body wall. Okay. There's one. These are very close together because at the end all I need is to just pass a blade to cut that apart. But this one right here, we're actually going to ligate or we're going to tie off uh, the spermatic cord, the vas deferens, and we're going to do it right here in the crush which was created by these uh, hemostats, okay? Do a surgeon's knot. Right down, right into that crush. I use a thumb to thumb technique to tighten it. Okay, so you get pretty good tension on that area. So now when I actually cut these testicles uh, out and remove them, uh, we are not going to uh, have any bleeding, okay, or any hemorrhage because we tied off those vessels. I'm going to take my blade, my number 10 blade and my scalpel, and I remove it. Cut right through, away from the patient. Here's the testicle. When the approach uh, that I did on Bing is the prescrotal approach, and it's when I take the testicles and I push them up into the prescrotal area where basically it's before, if you're thinking where the, the penis is and then going down to the scrotum, it's before you hit the scrotum, right? So that's the prescrotal area. And it's an area of skin where you can actually put push the testicle up above, uh, above the, the penis and you can actually cut over the skin, okay, and you know you're cutting over the testicle because it's right there, and then you just pop it out. And then um, I use the three clamp technique where I take three hemostats and I clamp it uh, in basically proximal, middle, and distal. Um, uh, and then what I do is I, I make uh, two ligatures around uh, the pedicle, and then um, and then I basically ligate it, uh, and then uh, and then remove the testicles with my blade, and um, it's uh, it's a pretty straightforward procedure. Could have you know uh, it t today it took about uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, to do as uh, as I was describing everything, but it it can be done uh, faster than that for sure. But it's not all about speed, uh, but it's one of those procedures which is a quick procedure. Um, and, uh, and there's minimal blood loss, uh, so Bing, uh, I didn't have to worry uh, too much about that. And there we go. No more testicles. It's a little red, they'll be a little inflamed, but then it goes down and you'll be fine. Now the technicians will continue to monitor the patient. We can, um, we can reverse this patient now with uh, adipamazole which is a partial reversal to the uh, dexmedetomidine that we used for uh, pre-anesthetic. It goes intramuscularly, and it's, uh, it's going to help this patient wake up a little faster. Hey, buddy. So we make sure we pull the tube before they actually start chewing on the tube. Boy. Boy, we're waking up. The bad part's over. Yes. Okay. We'll put him back in his cage. We'll get him an e-collar. 
so he doesn't lick at his incision site and open it up. Okay, and then we'll monitor him and make sure he wakes up fully with no problems. Yeah. Okay. It's all over. It's all over, buddy. You did good. You did a good job. Hello. Okay. We'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, he was a great patient today, and uh, no complications. Everything went well. Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh, how are you doing? Oh, such a good boy. Such a good boy. Do you want to keep this on until his recheck appointment so he doesn't look at his area? Okay. All so right, it, it looks as if he still has some, but that's just that's just inflammation and, and whatnot. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah. Oh, Phoebe will be excited to see you. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. A glimpse into the owner's soul is through their pet, I feel. And when you, when you get to know their pet, you kind of already get to know what they love, the owner's love. And, and you can feel the love, and you kind of get to know the owners just by kind of, you know, indirectly, vicariously through the pet, you know? Um, and uh, so... I love, I love just every aspect of my job because there's so many different tangents you can go off. But um, yeah, ultimately I think this is just, it's a profession for me because my love for animals and uh, when, I can, when I can show that to them, it becomes reciprocated. <laughs> oh, guys. No, no, thanks guys. <laughs> Can I get up now and hurt them? Yes, yes, that hurts. Go, go, go. Oh, what? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.